Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Andrew Howard, A Howard A. Today, we're back out at Trap Pond, taking some photos and checking out this awesome weather that we've been having here on the East Coast. It's absolutely amazing out here. It's probably around 65 to 70 at most. A little nice breeze, cloud cover, and uh, we're also taking some landscape photos while we're out here. Uh, haven't been really shooting much video uh, other than what I've been doing for my clients. So let's go explore Trap Pond and uh, enjoy the rest of this day because it's like six o'clock and sunsets in like an hour and a half. The most important thing about landscape photography is making sure you set it manual focus, have your f-stop anywhere between 8, f8 and f16, use a tripod. It is very big, 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 big key to use a tripod when doing landscape photography. That way you don't get any shakes when you're standing there. It doesn't matter what orientation you go in, horizontal, landscape or portrait, it just depends on the subject in your photo. So like this photo right here of the whole entire pond, this seems like it's a better, uh, just a better layout when it's in landscape. But also this one right here, this is a portrait because of the, the trees, how they wrap around on that one side and lead, you can just see the clouds there. Also, if you wanna get that smooth water, make sure you have an ND filter, crank it down to maybe like one second, maybe half second to anywhere from half, half a second to a second and a half, depending on how much uh, movement is in the water, you're gonna need an ND filter for that. If you guys have any, any questions on taking landscape photos, you can always follow me on Instagram at A Howard A. I post some landscape kind of stuff, but also like doing some street photography and then just whatever I see, honestly. A lot of travel stuff. You see a lot of New York and some LA stuff coming in October. I'm so excited to go out to LA and experience some warm weather and the West Coast sunsets. And you guys will definitely see some landscapes out in LA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video watching me take some landscape photos. If you guys need any, help, or if you guys have any more tips, drop them in the comments below. Go out, go create, and I'll see you guys next time.